Fillet ordering in Fusion 360, coming up. Hey, this is Tyler Beck. So I was putting together this quick tip, and it kind of went sideways on me. I wanted to talk about how I used to do it in SolidWorks. Essentially, you create fillets. In this example, I wanted to do a 2 millimeter fillet all around these edges on this idler arm. And when you look back, you can see the difference from the solid. I've created all the solids and the cuts, and now I'm filleting it. And there's these series of fillets that all run in succession that once you start solving it, they'll start to overlap, and then it stops working. At least that was my, always my experience with SolidWorks and other you know, traditional CAD modelers. So one thing that I've always done and taught people to do is create the fillets in a series. So do the larger ones up front and then continue to add. Now here's where the gotcha usually was. If you're doing two fillets at the exact same time and they were gonna overlap. So like you can see here, if I was doing a larger half inch fillet and it had to solve both, what I had to do before was I had to create one at a time and add each fillet to each corner. So when you do something extreme, like a three quarter fillet in this example, and you want to do two of those, you had to do them separate of each other. Now, Fusion 360 just completely surprised me. Because of its direct modeler approach, because it's got a, a real strong suit when it comes to freeform and creating these solids, it solves it differently allowing you to create these fillets kind of however you want. So I'm able to add both fillets at the same time, not forcing me to separate them into several different steps or two separate steps. So really cool, good news. Just throw those fillets on, but don't be afraid to order them to get the solution that you want. That would be my only tip for today is don't be afraid to reorder fillets to get it to solve the way it needs to look.